All righty, we're back now with our series, Show Me the Money, helping people across the country find unclaimed cash. And Gio just stopped by Tropicana Field in Florida, and I hear some fans there hit a financial home run, Gio. Oh, they really did, Robin, but so did GMA viewers. Within 24 hours of our last report airing last week, nearly 50,000 of you went online, you found some money, and you submitted a claim. And it's as easy as that. And one of the biggest treasure troves right now is in my home state of Florida. So we went to play ball for some cash. We are cruising through St. Petersburg, Florida in our brand new Show Me the Money Mobile on our way to Tropicana Field and the Tampa Bay Rays. All right, let's go see if we can get some fans some free money. Let's go. After a quick VIP tour, Tropicana Field. What's going on, Raymond? And a little pregame catch with their mascot. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Outside, we set up our GMA Show Me the Money booth, fielded by the team from the Florida Department of Financial Services, looking up names to see if anyone has any unclaimed money. You ever done this before? And those who do, get to ring that bell. Play ball. Unclaimed money is cash people forgot about or never knew they had. In Florida alone, totaling somewhere in the ballpark of $3 billion. The biggest hits here coming from things like old bank accounts, insurance proceeds, and lost or abandoned stocks and bonds. Across the nation, about one in seven people have some amount waiting to be claimed just by looking up your name on the free website missingmoney.com. What was the highest payout you ever had? Seven and a half million. That was about a year and a half ago. And that was one person? One person, yes sir. But clearly it wouldn't take a million bucks to get these fans cheering. This woman excited Wait, over just $2.70. <laughs> Woo! Show me the money. So what'd you end up with? $21.08. $21, all right. So it's $21 more it pays, than you had. It pays for the parking. <laughs> <laughs> this young lady finding 13 bucks from work she did back in high school. She showed the chickens in high school at the county fair. 13 bucks. There you go. Listen, when you root for the Rays, sometimes it pays. Yep, it does. Oh! <laughs> Thank you guys. And you know, I'm from Florida, so we looked up my name. $33.30. Part of that from the Florida Turnpike. Apparently, I overpaid on my Sun Pass. I knew I gave him too much money. Should I ring the bell? Here we go for my $33.30. Even our cameraman Stan capturing some cash. I can't believe you're ending up with some money too. 71. 71 bucks. But then this stadium worker hits a home run, 822 bucks from an old insurance policy. Money she says she's putting towards a new car. <laughs> you weren't expecting to come to work today. No. Nope. And end up with an $822 no, check. No, I was not. But wait till you see what's on deck for the Tampa Bay Rays. For the Rays, 23,417 bucks. Rays president Matt Silverman accepting that green coming from a lineup of things like uncashed vendor checks and refunds. What are this, you going to do with this money? This is going to go uh, to our foundation and uh, it's going to help with our, our youth and education programs throughout Tampa Bay. It'll go to a great use. $91. And while this woman didn't walk off with the biggest check, she certainly had the biggest smile. So, Marsha, you came for a game yes. and ended up with $91. Yes, yay! Yay! Thank God, yay! <laughs> All right, some huge wins out there. On to the next one. Show me the money. I mean, who wouldn't smile over some free money? And just last month, the state of Florida returned a record $53 million to its residents. But look at this number right here we're going to show you. Right now, across America, there's some $20 billion just waiting to be claimed. It is your money. And the way to claim it again, missingmoney.com. You put in your name, you fill out a claim. It takes just minutes. And remember, I have those 33 bucks in Florida. And this weekend, I got my claim in the mail. They have to prove that you are who you say you are. And once you fill that out, you send it back, they send you a check problem. Uh, Gio, I can only imagine the questions that you get asked. So what do you get asked the most when you're helping on the road like that? Robin, everyone says, 
this has got to be a scam, right? And I get it, but it's actually not. This is part of the law. They have to give this money to you. So they literally try to find you in any way they can. And what happens is sometimes they may have a missing digit in your phone number or something wrong in your address. And so they can't get it back to you immediately. That's why they need to find you again. And that's why this happens. But you need to check every year and go ahead and check every state that you've ever lived in. That helps too. And, and, and again, you just have to give your name. Just right. your name. Yeah, at first, just your name. They're going to send you the claim. That's going to ask you for, you know, your social security, that sort of thing. But this is coming from the state ah. itself, so you know it's legit. Okay. Yeah. All right, Gio. Lunch is on you with those 30 <laughs> bucks or whatever. <laughs>